Dear students, let's see this particular question. Uh, two elements P and Q belongs to the same period of the modern periodic table and are in group 1 and group 2 respectively. So the important point here is what? Same period. This is very important. Respectively, compare their following characteristics in tabular form. You have uh, six characteristics here and each will award you half marks so total three marks for this particular question. Okay. Now, uh, we'll discuss it one by one. So the first one is number of electrons in their atoms. So if you see uh, number of electrons in their atoms, so you, ca you can pick any two elements or any two atoms of any two elements, but those two elements must be in what? Same period. That is already given in the question. So if you see the periodic table, this is what your group one and this is what your group two. So you, either you can pick lithium and beryllium, that is the number of electrons is three and four respectively, or you can pick sodium or magnesium, or you can pick potassium and uh, calcium also. So maybe you can, I mean, we are going to pick the sodium and magnesium. So take any one pair, okay. You can take any one pair and you will be awarded what half marks. Next one is the size of the atom. You guys know that uh, when you will move from left to right in a periodic table, in your periodic table, atomic size is what? Atomic size, atomic size decreases, right? Atomic size decreases. And uh, when you're moving from top to bottom, you are adding cells, okay? So uh, in lithium, you can see two cells. In sodium, it is three cells like that. So definitely atomic size will what? Increase. Atomic size will what? increase when you will move when you're moving from top to bottom so it's very simple uh, this is what group one will be what has bigger size and group two will be what a smaller size compared to group one right so you see here it is what your bigger and it is what your smaller right now see the third one is your metallic character so you guys know that uh, when you will move from left to right what will happen metallic character i'm writing it here mc like okay metallic character what will happen with metallic character Simple guys, there is no need to mug up. You know that this is what your non-metal, this is what your non-metal and this one is what your metal. So when you are moving from left to right, first you are getting metals and then you are getting non-metals. So what is happening? Metallic character is increasing or decreasing? Of course it is what? Decreasing. Okay, because first you are getting metal, then you are getting non-metal, right? Now, if you see from top to bottom, let's see. So you know that these two are what? Metalloids, this nitrogen and phosphorus is non-metal and this bismuth is what metal what is happening when you are moving from top to bottom first you are encountering non-metal then you are encountering metalloid and then you are encountering what metal so when you are moving from top to bottom your metallic character is what increasing simple so if we compare these two groups or the elements in a same period and group number one and group two respectively definitely the metallic character in group one will be more and metallic character in group two will be what less when you're moving from left to right, metallic character is what? Decreasing. So simple, metallic character, uh, this uh, group one element, more metallic, group two element, less metallic, of course, with compris, uh, you know, uh, in comparison to what? Uh, group one element. Tendency to lose electron. You guys know that metal has a tendency to, uh, you know, lose electron. And if it is more metallic, if some element is more metallic, that means what? It will have tendency to lose more electron. So here, tendencies, tendency to lose electron will be more and here the tendency to lose electron will be what? Less. Formula for oxides. Group 1, you know, valency is what? 1. So P, the valency is what? 1. And oxide, you know, the valency is what? 2. So you just cross multiply it. So you will get what? P2O. You can also use uh, the symbol for sodium also, right? As it is written here for parts E and F ex examples using symbol of elements may also be accepted. Okay, it's better to use, uh, you know, P, but you can use it also symbol like, I mean, we have used it here, sodium. So you can also write it, sodium is what valency one, oxygen is two. So it will be what your Na2O. Like uh, this one is what 